What is up Watch Fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris and welcome to Lug to Lug, our brand new series where we take you in depth and up close with some of our absolute favorite vintage watches. We're going to show you and tell you exactly why we love them. By the end of each episode, I think you're going to love these watches almost as much as I do. So today for our first episode, a Rolex 1803 is at the centerpiece. It's got a beautiful wide boy dial and a Spanish day wheel and I can't wait to get into it. So let's do it. Let me start here. I love gold Rolexes. I know I'm disgusting, but I love gold Rolexes. I love the ostentatious era, gaudy culture and capitalist values they represent but at least I'm self-aware. On to this example. It's a Rolex reference 1803 in yellow gold with a champagne wide boy dial and matching wide boy hands. It dates to 1967 and frankly, it's a model of condition. Almost a museum quality example, not only are its lugs sharp, but its original case finishing is clear. Notice the brush finishing on top and the perfect shine on the side. Now, not every example can be like this, and we shouldn't expect them to be, but knowing condition like this exists is a beautiful thing. Okay, a little bit more about the Day-Date. Introduced in 1956, it was the first watch to feature the day of the week in full text. Now with a power start like that, it's really only fitting that this watch would soon become a global icon. From the wrist of LBJ to Tony Soprano, the Date 8 became a symbol synonymous with success and power. Although children of the 80s definitely remember these watches as awful accessories to the finely tailored and coked up, I find them extremely versatile. From presidential bracelet, to black cordovan or a tan suede, it looks not only beautiful, but incredibly different. I mean, you can wear it however you like, but the truth is, with a little creativity, you'll never be fettered to the ghost of Glengarry Glen Ross. Like all of our Rolexes, this watch was fully serviced, pressure tested, and COSC guaranteed before even being listed. Now, I love this watch. It is no secret. In fact, most of you know that this watch is my grail. But as it is my job, I sold this stunning 1803 to a very lucky watch geek, teenage fan, and now friend, Jason. But before I sent it off to its very passionate and tasteful new owner, I just had to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed. 